I don't like that stinking book inside Melania, what they know about <laughs> Melania Trump by impersonating her. That Lo Judice, don't miss a trick. My name is Lauren Lo Judice. I'm an actor, comedian, and character chameleon. I'm also the author of Inside Melania. I hate her. I did not choose Melania Trump for any sort of like self-aggrandizing promotional reason at all. Like I, I did not choose her. She kind of chose me. I was doing a comedy set at Parks Casino and I came off the stage and I had done a joke about Melania Trump. The booker was like, you just have to do an impression of Melania. I saw a picture of myself during a hard time in my life and I was like, oh my God, I look like Melania Trump. Miserable, but trying. I'm not someone who walks around in heels and makeup all day. With every character you play is that you end up finding your commonalities. I went to Pride as her carrying a sign that says, I also cried on election night. Someone asked me to do a Halloween show doing stand-up, but in character as Melania. And that went really well. I think my Donald has what it takes. I do, I do. <laughs> he has the charisma of Nixon, the vocabulary of George W. <laughs> and the diet of Cookie Monster. Oh my God, this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Like nobody knows anything about her. Like people don't even really know her name. Like I have to say Melania Trump. Some people think I'm the Russian gold digger, huh? <laughs> well, fake news. <laughs> I am from Slovenia. They know nothing about where she's from. Slovenia might as well be like Uzbekistan or Croatia, Ukraine. No one knows like where she's from or what it is. They just think it's like a bunch of donkeys running around. People just kind of know she's a model and they have lots of questions about why she's married to Donald. There's a danger in making her the victim. People love to say like poor Melania or Melania in a tower. And I was not going to play her like that. She's never the victim. Now, I don't care what Democrat runs in 2020. As long as they get me under that White House of garbage. <laughs> what the dump? They have the same dustbuster since Hoover. Looking at her background, I found, yeah, I, I do have a lot in common with her. We both really wanted to get out of where we were. I grew up in a very conservative Italian Catholic neighborhood in Queens, New York. All I wanted was to get out and to be around people who were more into arts and culture. And she also really wanted to get out as well and to move on to bigger and broader things. I did have a stint as a model, more just kind of get into entertainment, but I was in Italy modeling and she went to Milan to model. I speak Italian, yes, Gucci. So I know what that's like to be a foreigner in Italy trying to work in the modeling industry. It is really hard. I got to know her a lot. And in fact, that is like part of what made the book. When you start to like put yourself really into the shoes of a character, you uncover some really important things about her. And actually a lot of what I uncovered about Melania came true in the tapes and other things that we've discovered about her along the way. This was not part of the plan. They're not part of deal. I did not marry Donald to have to do work. Are you kidding me? I had to see him two days a month and then occasionally take a photo with him. Now I have to take photos every day with stinky poor children. People ask me a lot, what are you going to do if he loses? Are you sad? Do you hope he wins just so you can continue? No, I can't wait. I want to hang up my stilettos on November 3rd. Please help me. But if the Democrats are doing that's really for real this time, let's hashtag send Melania back. <laughs> if he loses, we're going to do the Melania Trump apology tour. If he wins, um, then... It will be a tool to help continue to bring laughter and sanity in very dark times. It's fine. It's fine. Because I'm already ahead. After five seconds up here, I've already spoken more than I have in my entire marriage. <laughs> that hand. He tried to get my... I don't want to hold his hand because then I will get wrist wrinkles, okay? Fake news with all of you making me, oh, I'm so bad person, I called, I don't like Donald. Thanks a lot, fake news. What has been really fun is seeing the broad range of people who respond to the material. Anyone who's a performer, you're gonna get crap from everyone, right? So people tell me you make her too nice because you're making her a human. I, that's what I do. And then the I get crap like, oh, you're being unfair, you're crossing the line. Whatever Democrat gets you ticket, support them, okay? It's an I don't care if a donkey runs. It's better than the ass we have in there. Most people tell me I feel good after watching what you do. And that's the point, to bring some levity to it. There is a subtext and you either get it or you don't. And if you're not looking for the subtext, you might not get it. So that's why sometimes there are people who are pro-Trump who do appreciate what I do. My publicist wants me to be more relatable. I'm going to give myself a beat. Ready?
Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Ah, kick a little sense to the Dems and make a few comments as I breeze through 2020. Trump's term still going because too many stay home. Scroll on social media to make big waves because they ain't changing until you get in their space. So turn on the light and open the door or don't complain to me no more. Marching down the street. How we will take it back with my mind on the vote in this White House driving crazy in my mind. Vote blue and I am Melania. The fact that I create comedy that attempts to open the hearts of minds of people through laughter isn't going to change. The characters I'm using to do that might change. So if it's not Melania, it'll be someone else. Someone get me a gin and juice pronto.